Hi, this is Robin Marie and welcome to my Sweet Tea Valentine tutorial. I'm going to show you some papers here. Um, these were all printed on deli paper. When I use my jelly plate, I like to print on uh, deli paper, but you can use any kind of paper that you have in your stash. It can be regular paper, any kind of collage paper. You can use it. Um, you can use anything, but I'm going to go ahead and use some deli paper that I'm just, these are just pieces that I have printed on my jelly plate and I thought it would be great to actually use some of these pieces to create a valentine card. So I'm going to actually take, I might even take pieces of them, but right now we're just going to grab one and we'll start. And again, you can use any paper that you have. It doesn't have to be a uh, jelly printed paper, but I like the variety that this will offer. So I'm going to use this and I've taken a piece of cardstock. It's eight and a half by 11 and I've cut it in half. And we're going to use this as the base of our card. So we're going to adhere our deli paper onto the card. And then we'll trim it. And if there's any areas that we're not happy with, we can always take some scraps of some more deli paper or collage paper, doesn't matter, any kind of paper. And we can add it to the overall card. So I'm just using a YooHoo glue stick. And I'm smoothing this out. Like right here, I think I'm gonna do something with that. I don't like that dark color that's right there. So I'm probably gonna cover that up. And then the next step is to trim with some scissors or you can use a paper cutter. Trim off the edges. Okay, as I mentioned, I'm not really crazy about that part right there. And I might wanna brighten that one up, that pink up a little bit too. So I'm just gonna look at some of my other pieces. Maybe this. And again, it can be any kind of paper. Just wanna fill that little spot in and make it a little brighter. I think we'll go with this right here. And I'm just gonna tear a piece. And I like that green that's on there too. Let's, let's take this piece right here. And the nice thing about at least the deli paper is that it's translucent. So once you add it, it's really nice because it'll dry and you won't really, you can't really tell. Yeah, but I like the look of the torn paper too. So that worked out good. And that covers up that dark area that I'm not very fond of. But I like this uh, variation of the different colors that we've got here. So this is one thing I like about it. And I don't really want to cover up all of that. Maybe angle it. There we go. And then maybe right there too. Maybe I'll take a piece of this and add it right there. Next, we're gonna round the corners. I'm gonna use this um, Crocodile Corner Chomper and I'm gonna use the half inch. Any kind of um, corner rounder will work or you can leave them squared. I just like the way it looks rounded. And this is gonna be the top of my card and this will be the bottom of my card. Now, in addition to um, working on the deli paper, every time I'm working with my papers, I'm also printing tags. And I just keep a stash of tags so that when I'm ready to do a project, I have um, some tags to work with. And so I like the contrast of this green against this um, pink up here. So I'm gonna use this one on this particular card. Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside and get some of the other elements ready. Uh, one of them is I'm gonna stamp um, this heart stamp this is available at Paper Bag Studios. It's a stamp that was made by uh, Kristen Peterson. And it's part of, um, it's part of a collection called uh, Dream Thicket. And it has a, it's a rubber sheet that has a bunch of different stamps on it. So I've inked this with black dye ink. India ink is my favorite. And I'm just gonna press down on some text paper. This is actually some 
shorthand paper and then I'm going to cut it out. I've already done that just to save a little time. So here's my, my heart. And so let's prepare that while we are waiting for the next step because I want to make sure uh, this heart dries before we continue on. So what I'm going to do is I've got a little bit of white fluid acrylic and I'm going to take a paintbrush and then we're going to um, paint into the center of this. And what I'm doing here is I'm just adding in some white paint to tone down that text paper. I'm not wanting to completely cover it, I just want to tone it down a little bit. And then I'm going to take the same brush, it's really small, tipped, and I'm going to do some little dots around the edge on the black part of the art. When that's finished, just set that aside to dry, and then we'll come back to that. All right, let's come back to um, our card. And I'm going to do just a little bit of stamping on this. I'm going to use this round. Um, it's a circle stamp from uh, Journal Impressions. It's also available at Paperback Studios. It's a rubber sheet full of a bunch of different circles. And I'm going to use the black ink again and stamp some circles on this. Maybe just a little bit down there. That's good. You can use any kind of stamps. Um, I like the where it's just a little shape. And then let's grab a couple tools here. We're going to use um, a regular um, pencil. This is one of my favorites. It's a Faber-Castell grip. We're using a Stabilo, and we're going to use this one. It's a Kimberly um, General Pencil. And I'm going to start with just putting some, uh, some pencil marks around the edge of it. Not a lot, just a little bit. And then we're going to go in with the, the regular pencil here and just whoop, be careful because if your paper's not quite dry. And deli paper can be kind of fragile, so just be careful with it. Just going to do some marks and if I have if you have any lifting on that if you add any layers and you have some lifting just glue it right back down I got a little heavy-handed there on the pencil all right then we're going to take our Stabilo and I'm going to go just a little bit around those stamped areas and then a little around the edge now deli paper takes water a little differently than you know regular paper it almost wants to sit on the top of it so it doesn't quite look the same as it does on paper but I still like to use water and I'm just using a water brush to do this and then I'm just using my finger gently to rub some of it off just want a little bit I don't want the I want a little bit of dark on the edges of the and you can even pull that stabilo out a little bit too to just to kind of grunge it up a little Okay, and then we'll want this to dry. So I'm gonna set this aside. And now we're gonna look at, since this is a tea bag card, I found a tea bag and I'm gonna replace the little tag here. And the way I'm gonna do that is I just found a piece of, of my own collage paper in my stash. And quite simply, we're gonna take it and just stick new paper right over the top of the tag. So basically, I'm just taking this piece of paper. It's actually cards printed on cardstock, and I'm choosing that black part because it'll add some contrast, I think, to the overall look of the card when we finish the, the Valentine card. And I'm just going to cut just like the shape of the original tag. And then we're going to do the other side. And so just add some glue. All right, 
so now we've 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 customized the tea bag tag and I think that's really pretty and I think that will look really nice because it'll complement uh, the black it'll it'll make that see how much more that contrasts I think that looks really good all right, I'm gonna set the tea bag aside and we're gonna come back to the tag. And what I wanna do is I wanna create a, a I wanna take part of this tag and put it at the top. So I'm gonna tear it and not far down, maybe, oh, that looks good right about there. And we're gonna stitch it with a sewing machine or you can freehand stitch it or you can simply glue it, you could tape it, or you could staple it. And I like how this contrasts with um, the pink that's here. And then we're still gonna use this part of the tag, but I wanna cut off this um, torn edge. I could leave it like that, or we could, let's leave it like that. All right, we're gonna take the punch again, or I mean the, the corner rounder, and we're gonna round the corner half inch again. And this will end up going down here once we kind of get this where we want it. All right, it's coming along nicely. Okay, so the next step is to stitch this tag top right onto the edge of the top of the tag. And so it's gonna be a straight stitch back and forth. And once it's stitched on, we'll move on to the next step. Now I'm gonna run this over to my sewing machine. I'm not using a special needle, I'm using black thread and I'm just gonna use a straight stitch and go back and forth and back and forth to stow it. I stitched the tag at the top here and I left some of the tails um, from the thread. And this is good because then we'll have some contrast with the thread as well as with um, the heart that we cut out that we're gonna use, the Valentine heart. And then also we have a little bit with the tea, uh, the tea tag. Okay. So what we're gonna do is I have these clear, these little clear pockets and they're labeling pockets. They're self-adhesive. I got them on Amazon. The pack contains 25 and they are, doesn't say what size they are. They're, they're like a three by maybe three and a quarter, something like that. But anyway, I love these, and this is great because it'll give us a little pocket in which to put our tea bag. So the idea here is that this is gonna go in here. I haven't stuck it on there yet, but we're gonna put it roughly there. And what's really kind of cool is that you have this dividing area between the tags. So you know you knew that you know there was a tag there. One the way the tag was set, you can tell it's been torn. And I'm glad I left the tear on the tag instead of um, trimming it off. So I think that looks good. And then we're gonna add our heart is gonna go onto the front of this little flap or the little pocket. Now I'm gonna go in here, I think this is dry now, and I'm just gonna do a little scribbling in the inside that. All right, so I'm gonna take this out and we're gonna go ahead and glue with a glue stick, glue the, um, the heart onto the front of the clear pocket. And I'm going to kind of angle it just a little bit. And then we'll put that on there. I like the way that looks. Okay. All right. Now I think um, I want to do, let's do a couple things. I think we need a little bit more of the dark color along this edge. So let me go around just a little bit more and then even on the top of the tag. So let's kind of go in here a little on this as well. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and put on our, our label and it's nice because it's clear. Once the paper comes off, it's a clear pocket so you can see what's on the, the big card. And then the idea here is that this is your, your card. You'll write your, and I love that this is messy, so no worries there. You can put paper on it if you want. You can put a label on it if you want. I like it messy. And then this will pop into here like that. And then our tea bag is gonna come next. But there's a couple other things I wanna do before we finish it off. So I'm gonna grab some masking tape and a little bit of washi tape just to add a little bit more contrast to this. I'm just gonna sit the tea bag right there. So I'm gonna take a little bit of 
just regular cream masking tape. And I'm gonna just, it's, it's really just sort of that whole idea of, you know, mixed media where you're adding a lot of different elements into. And I just like that idea. So I'm just gonna take some pieces and randomly put a few pieces here and there. All right, we're almost there. All right, we'll put the tea bag in last. Next, we wanna figure out what wash, uh, what sari ribbon or any kind of ribbon you wanna put in this. And so you just kinda of look at what colors are in your Valentine. And don't think a Valentine always has to be pink or red or anything, it, it doesn't have to be. And right now, this orange is kinda of speaking to me, but I'm not sure. But the teal looks good too. So if I put the orange with it, that's nice because you've got all this here. Uh, I'm not sure if I want teal. Nope, that's too much. Let's try, I think the pink is out. Let's try these two right here and see which one. I think the orange. All right, so we're gonna do the orange and start from the back of the tags top and pull those through, those little, that loop there and pull it through um, and be really gentle like I was not and I tore the sorry ribbon okay let's take it out yes be really gentle when you're using sorry because it's fragile and it can tear all right so let's try that again let's be very gentle this time better yay okay much much better and it's it's bold I mean that that color is bold on there don't you think but I like it okay so the last step I mean of course you'll write your Valentine greeting on this whatever you want to say and then we're gonna put the tea bag in now what I like to do is take this tea bag and just sort of work the tea in the bag a little bit so that it's not so um, puffy tuck it right down in here like that and then we want to Put the tag up because the tag is going to be kind of hanging and I, I really kind of like it up at the top a little bit so you can use anything it can be a little tiny piece of double-sided tape um, these are just glue dots and i'm just going to put a tiny glue dot on the back of this and it it won't mess it won't mess this up i'm just going to attach it like right there so that it's right up at the top now you can see how the contrast between the stitching, the black, a little bit of the tape, and then the heart, really, and then of course our little stamping areas in the background um, really kind of helps that out quite a bit. But my mind is saying maybe a little more. So let's go back to the white paint. Um, sometimes I'll look at it and say, well, that needs a little something more, and I'm thinking it does. So I'm going to take the um, white paint again, just a little bit with my brush. And let's play off the dots that are here. And let's just put some little dots kind of around this. Almost like a little trail. Mm -hmm. Actually, it kind of reminds me of, can you see it? Maybe like steam coming off the tea as it's brewing. Okay, that's kind of hokey, but okay. All right, I think that works, I like it. And it's really easy to make. So get out those papers that you've painted or your collage papers and make yourself, um, make, some, make some homemade Valentines, I challenge you. Make some Valentines, you can send them to your friends and just tell them how much you love and appreciate them. All right, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and uh, I hope you make your own. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day.